factors. Right, so the first type of question we did was x squared plus 7x. What are the factors? What can I what's common to both? X. Look up, Bushy. So x times what is x squared? X plus 7. Right, that was the first type of factors that we did. Then we moved on, we did a, a few more examples. So we just do, if we do another example of that, what's the factors of this one? Same, same type of question. What's common to both? X. Look up. X times what is x squared? X, x times what is x plus one. plus one? Very good. Still, that's the, still the first type that we did. And then we did, uh, Factorizing by grouping. So we'll take an example of that. An example we had AX plus AY plus BX plus BY. What did we group? We grouped the first two, didn't we? Uh, we grouped the second two. What's common? You don't have to tell him, he knows. What's common? To both of these. And what do I multiply? Yeah. What will I find? What will I find? That's common between these two brackets. They'll be the same, won't they? What's common to these two? B is common. And now, when I write down my answer. Do I have to write x plus y twice? No. Like this? No, yes. I only have to write it once. For example, if I was saying what are the factors of uh, 6? What's the correct answer? 1, 2, 3 and 6. Would I say 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 6, no. 6? No. So it's a plus b. Alright? So that's... And then we moved on to the next one. Can you give me an example of a square number? Over here on the, on the, the board? Six. No. Four. Four is a square number. Why? No. All right. The third time was... The next type was difference of two... Yeah, 36 is a square number. Why does it do these things? Alright, there's four. One, two, three, four squares. Why, why is four a square number? Because two times two gives you four. What's the next square number? Um, three by three. Nine. Three by three? Nine. Three by three is nine. What's the next one? Um, four by, four, by four, four is 16. Because it looks like a square, doesn't it? Yeah. What's the next one? Um, five, five by four. five is... <coughs> 25. Next one is 6 by 6. See the square is getting bigger gradually. 36, 49. It's basically multiplying what the next number is by itself. By itself, that's it. Yeah. Right, so then we had x squared. Well, difference of two squares. Difference means minus, doesn't it? Now we had x squared and then we had, let's say an example we had was 9, which is 3 by 3. So we go 3 by 3, 9. What do we do now, Samir? What do we do? What do I write here? X and? X. Uh, what do I write over here, the side of the box? 3. Yeah. 3 by 3 is 9. All right. And we write down our factors. So, what do I write in the first box? X plus X. X plus? X. Well, not minus three. three. and the other one? X minus three. Doesn't matter which one I write first, does it? Is two times one the same as one times two? 
So when I multiply two things, it doesn't matter which one I put first. All right. Well, we'll come back. Right. We'll come back to them. I was never needed them. All right. All right, the next type is what happens when you have, and I'll explain it. Find the factors of, I'm going to just do one, and then I'm going to 3x plus 2, and then I'll do some examples. All right. So you, two brackets. You find out the factors of 2. Will you look up, lads? Look up. Stop scribbling. Find the factors of two. What are the factors of two? One, two. Yeah, one. Oh, one times two is two. All right. And actually, I'll just do this one. Stop the recording. That's actually the answer. Okay. And I'll explain how it's done now in a second.